Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Shadow of Depth Season 5 is here and we are playing it. Technically, it officially started yesterday. So I did jump in. I, I'm taking a look at all the different things that are out there. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and do a, a new series on this. Probably going to go ahead and push out uh, four or five episodes throughout Season 5. Uh, give some more uh, information about the updates that are going on. I'm really, really pushing this season to go ahead and get to the top 50, top 30. Trying my best to go ahead and push hard on this season uh, to get the results. Um, so we'll go ahead and walk through some of the big changes that have happened over the last season or two. In case you have taken a break from uh, Shadow Depths and are coming back, there are some big changes that you want to take a look at. Um, so we'll go through those in this video, plus give you a little bit of hint on some of my strategies I'm trying for this season uh, so we can go ahead and push for those uh, top 50, top 30. We'll, we'll see how it all works out. But before we jump into the video, please take the, a quick look at this disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you jump into any project. Don't take my word for it. Just make sure it's right for your situation. But let's go ahead and jump into the game itself. As I, as I said, I, I went ahead and I made some... Uh, I, I did kick it off with the kickoff of the season yesterday, so I've skipped past a number of the things. Uh, as far as the intro, when you sign up, create your clone, go through those initial tasks. Uh, but we can go ahead and cover some of those details as we're jumping in here. So let's talk about some of the big changes that have happened. There is an announcement out there in the Discord if you want to go through those details. Um, some of the, the things I wanted to highlight is the rewards. There is a large number of rewards anywhere from just the leaderboard rewards that we, we tend to talk about, plus a number of other ways to go ahead and earn wax and other tokens other tokens and nfts throughout the game itself um so you can see just from this list here that there are a huge number of rewards available the other thing that i wanted to talk about which is a big change this season is if you get the season pass um you can go ahead and kind of get an additional class for your character usually it's just a fighter if you're playing free to play but the pass will give you an option of four i'm sorry three other types of, of players that are out there um, you have the sniper, which is expert and long range uh, attacks, gives you a little bit more evasion, also gives you the, a 1% cap addition to your evasion task. Berserker is more of a melee style character. Uh, as far as when they get close, you have better uh, damage as far as melee weapons go. Uh, evasion is reduced, but your HP is higher. You're more of a tanky style character and your accuracy cap is increased too. So those are the two fighter uh, style or battle style uh, additional characters or classes that you can go ahead and jump in. Then they have a minor. If you're going in here and you're shooting for straight leaderboards, uh, and, and not really caring about the, the, the little bonuses that you get with the battles, you can go ahead and be a miner. Uh, you do have a reduction, so you don't hit as hard, so you have a reduction in your damage that you provide. But as far as the tokens mined and the chances of drops happening, it's increased. Uh, so, the, so those are good for those that are really pushing for the leaderboards, uh, and you have a number of other strategies out there that help you kind of get there. Uh, you can go ahead and do the minor and really push that way. So th that's a new addition, a nice little bonus, a nice little strategy change or addition to the to the overall game itself. The other thing I wanted to mention that that you may not be aware of, uh, previously when you were in here in Shadow Depths, you had the option to go ahead and do double ranged weapons. You could do double melee weapons and have it swap. Uh, it, it once your durability went down on the weapon. That has changed. So you now carry one range weapon and you carry one melee weapon. So the, the game mechanics have changed a little bit. So if you're far away from someone, you'll go ahead and use that ranged weapon. If they get too close to you, you'll go ahead and switch over to that melee weapon. So that's that's something that's pretty big of a change here. I'm, I'm not sure if I like it yet. I, I like the game mechanics of far and near battling and, and, and really categorizing that. Uh, the thing I don't like is I really got reliant on the swapping of the the weapons. Uh, it became very helpful uh, as you got into those longer runs. So I'm curious to see how how that's all going to play out. Um, you're gonna have to keep an eye more on your durability this time around. Uh, so you just just be aware of that as you're going through. 
A couple of the other changes, um, if you did not play last season, the these next two changes were implemented last season. Uh, so if you played last season, you might be aware of them. If you didn't play last season, this is probably going to be brand new stuff for you. You now have the option, instead of multi-accounting, they're trying to get rid of the multi-accounting, you can put as many clones on one account as you want, as long as you buy one of the battle passes or the season passes. In order to do that, you're going to go up here to this little arrows that are in the top here and you can go ahead and create a new clone as long as you go ahead and have that battle pass or that, that seasonal pass you can go ahead and create as many clones as you want um last season i did that uh, i had two clones that i was experimenting with um if you're a casual gamer uh, it, it's going to be a challenge to keep up with both of the, the clones, or if you do more than two clones, you expect to dedicate a lot of time uh, to the, the grind that goes along with the game. The other thing you want to be aware of is they do not share the same ship. So you're going to have to go through and upgrade both ships. Your gear is going to have to be upgraded. You can't just uh, exchange between clones. Um, as far as your gear goes. So be aware of that. You're essentially having two separate accounts. They're just connected into one account. Uh, you'll just have to have the resources to go ahead and build up both of those clones and the ships that go along with them. So be aware of that. That's why this season I'm going to focus just on one clone itself. So I'm really just going after that clone to see how high I can get the clone in the, in the rankings uh, and just really go through that process. Um, the other thing I wanted to make sure everybody's aware of that didn't play last season is there has been a significant change with the rewards as you're going through here. The good news is once you get to the higher tiers, you no longer have the limited, the, they're only giving away 100 of these rewards or 200 of these rewards, which is a challenge for a lot of people that were out there. Now anyone can go through the, the, the feed or the, I guess the path uh, and get all of the rewards, which is great. I, I I like that a lot, that I don't have to push as quickly as possible to get to the, the top rewards. The one thing that I do have to mention is they've reduced the NFTs that you get, other than uh, some of the, like the, the, the pass or the win ones, the spin to win NFTs, or if you go down here and you have the sales, the energy sales, they still provide a lot of those throughout the process. But they got rid of a lot of the, the packs that you can get as you're going through, unless you get here to the top tier. Uh, let me get, make it a little bit easier. Come on. If you get to the top tier, then you're going to go ahead and have a chance to get some of the packs, uh, the scout packs and so forth. Um, but anything earlier than that, you won't really have the chance at NFTs. What they did in exchange for that is they're now giving wax away as some of the rewards as you're working through here. For example, some of the earliest rewards that you're going to get from a wax perspective is all the way here on uh, all the way here on 13. Once you get 13 tasks, you'll start getting some wax and it's low early. It's 30 cents worth of wax, which is not a lot, uh, but it does go up to eleven dollars uh, as you continue to go through the process uh, and you get all the way up to 139. You'll get eleven dollars worth. But if you add it all up, you're getting about $28 worth of wax if you can get to this point in the task, which if you compare it to the cost of the pass itself, you're making up most of the ground just on the wax here itself. Plus you win the prizes as far as the leaderboard goes. Plus you, if you continue to go through the, the tasks, you'll get a, a number of NFTs that you can either keep or sell your choice. Um, and you can just go through that process uh, and you actually make out pretty well if you can get all the way, if you can get far enough within the tasks themselves. Plus you get to play a game for 42 days uh, and have some fun with it. Uh, so it's it's really a, a nice situation. I, I miss the NFTs that they used to give as rewards, but I'm glad they added in there the, the wax. And, and for those of you that are not aware, the reason they got rid of the NFTs is it was just getting overpopulated. The value of those NFTs was dropping. Um, so they're trying to do their best from their side to go ahead and keep that up higher uh, and also give the rewards that we're, we kind of expect from Shadow Depths. The other thing that they're doing is there's actually additional rewards uh, as far as tokens go. And you'll see here, you'll see there's a blockchain here as far as Banano. Um, I'm not super familiar with this yet, but I'm going to look into it a little bit more. They're giving away a total of $500 worth of those tokens uh, throughout the season also. 
Um, so you can go ahead and grab those. I actually have not claimed my first one that I'm able to yet, uh, simply because I don't have the wallet yet. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and uh, at some point this week, go ahead and create the wallet so I can go ahead and claim those. Uh, so additional tokens, different additional blockchain, you can go ahead and use those, which is is, uh, is pretty cool that they're adding that in there. So these are some of the big changes that they're doing throughout the game itself. Um, some of the minor changes that I wanted to mention as far as the tasks go, they did mention that there are some tasks that they've quote unquote nerfed. Um, to make them less challenging as far as trying to accomplish those. I haven't gotten any of them yet. They, they, they hinted at things like the hydro scales, uh, the hydro scales, I should say, uh, which was like 50 you needed to collect. So that they say that has been reduced. Um, again, when we get closer to that or we get to those tasks, I'll be able to go ahead and, and show you those, um, which is nice because it's going to make it a little bit easier to get through the process because there's a lot of people that were struggling with those because that does take a significant amount of time as far as the hydras go uh so th keep that in mind um so there's a lot of cool things that are going on uh, i'm excited they have this uh new tab within here as far as giving you ranged and melee stats so you can kind of tell between the different ones uh, depending on what weapon you're using and also what your class is you can see i went with a sniper i was debating between the sniper and the miner some days, and I, I have a feeling I'm going to regret the sniper. I, I'm going to, I have a feeling I'm going to wish I went with the miner itself just because of that bonus, especially as we get later game. The sniper is going to help me a lot earlier game. Um, so we'll test it out. We'll see how it goes this season uh, with the sniper. Um, and then maybe next season, I'll go ahead and jump in with a miner and go that direction with it. So that's it so far for season five. Uh, as far as my strategy goes for the season, just keeping it at a super high level, I'm going a different direction with my skill tree. Uh, in the past, at least the past couple of seasons, I focused so much on speed because I wanted to hit those missions and get those missions done as quickly as possible, get through that tree as quickly as possible. But I struggled last season with that where I was burning through equipment like no other and it was hard to keep up without using wax. Um, so this route, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on evasion first, get my defense up there, get my accuracy up there. And those are going to be the two priorities. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Um, the other thing I did want to note that is brand new this season that goes along with the additional classes, the sniper, the berserker and the miner is there is actually a brand new skill tree uh, that they've added in here that focuses on your type of character. Um, so I went with Sniper, as I mentioned previously. So it goes through a, an assortment of skill improvements as you're going through that. And then every time you get to one of the milestones here, it's, uh, the surprise chance is reduced. So basically... Uh, you won't be surprised as much in battle, which actually helps you allow to 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 fight better overall. Again, I, I sometimes I, I I need to take a look at the skill tree that came along with a miner. Um, kind of kind of leaning. I I don't know. I don't know. Did I make the right decision? Go to, head down in the comments below. Let me know if you went ahead and grabbed one of the the season passes so you can get the additional class and which class that you went with. Uh, again, I went sniper. I'm uh, kind of thinking I should have went minor, but who knows? It's part of the fun. It's part of testing th the different things out. Um, so those are the big changes. That's my overall strategy. Going to go ahead and try my best to get as high as possible. Again, we just started less than a day ago. So my place on the leaderboard is kind of ir irrelevant right now uh, as I continue to go through those. I'm 113. I do expect to move up considerably as I go through the chain itself and as I continue to work through uh, and get to that point where I can go ahead. Um, the nice thing is the rewards. They also have the, the bonus $20 rewards in here like they did last time uh, for the top 50 uh, uh, players that go through there. So you get a bonus of $20 if you get in the top 50, which is kind of why I'm aiming for the top 50. Um, so let me know down in the comments below, what class did you pick is if you went ahead and grabbed a season pass, what are your strategies for the season? I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you later.